But this is embarrassing. I forgot to do yesterday. Well, not forgot. I just didn't get the chance to do yesterday's school video. So this school, um, on from Wednesday the third of May, twenty twenty three, to Thursday the fourth of May, twenty twenty three. Uh, may the fourth be with you. Um, I probably will talk about what season two of Star Wars Visions is like. Uh, on Sunday. Should finish all of it and then. Do, at least a film. I just uh. I don't know which one to watch because I have two in my head that I want to watch, but I, I don't know which. We'll, we'll see. So, for Wednesday, uh, came in was talking to a couple of people about a scene from Scream 4, which I'll, I'll save the review for the end of the video. Um, I'm trying to remember what media was like. Oh, right, right. All media was was just writing down notes about some gay website. I, I, I knew we were doing this right after Zoella. Because they've been sort of put together, but I thought, all right, it's it's like online shit, but this this website is it's a magazine. That you know, they made a website of the magazine. So why isn't this pushed with Vogue? I, I, I don't know. Or fuck, why not just stop, don't do this, and instead we just talk about the online sections of Vogue and the online sections is the big issue. But whatever. So there was a lot of notes. So I didn't get all of them done in class. I, uh, uh you know, I had to finish it in study because I had you know, free periods and of study between break and lunch, and I was like, you know what, I've got my own room, you know, I've got complete privacy. I'm going to log on to Disney and watch some 911 while I do my work, and I do that, but then it's like, oh, uh, you know, f basically, well, we've recognised you're on an iPad, so if you want to watch Disney, download the app. Like ah shit. Uh but there was another show that I watched which I'll get into the I'll get into the review for that after the review for screen four. Um so I'm, I'm trying to think of what's next. I think there was stuff to talk about in English, but because it was yesterday, I, I forgot. So, uh, I'll just uh, go on to today. Uh, all I did was revive. The fuck, not revise. <laughs> Definitely not. I just read in Moving Image. Um... Didn't get much done though. Like uh, I, I'm taking a break from what I was reading. The 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 thing I was reading right after fifty two. Taking a break from that because I realized that there's two events I need to read. One from night, one from eighty nine, and one from ninety four. So I'm currently on the one from eighty nine. That. Sorry, there's an ice cream van outside. Uh, if you didn't hear that. No, I wasn't getting excited or anything. Um, but. Oh, fuck, I lost my shit. Oh. You know, I read the, the sort of prologue to the event. Um, and then. The event starts off with the first issue. It's a, it's a free issue mini series, so I thought this is going to be tiny. But the for uh, the first issue of this series is eighty pages long with no ads. So um yeah. 
and then you know it got crossovers and shit and they released a uh, they released a a very unique spin-off let me get out my iPad so I can look up the name of this spin-off Daily Planet name of the event special this is a uh, 16 issue sorry 16 page issue that uh it's like a it, it's not a comic it's just you know a, a daily planet newspaper so you've got articles about the event and they've decided for one like cat grant doing a review of some godzilla ripoff um a like dating advice section teenage advice stuff uh yeah so that's just taking a bit. And then after that there's like another 30 free issues, I think. So it's... I mean, it should take, you know, not as long time as Seven Soldiers. Only because the leading comics were like 60 pages each and there was 14 of them. Whereas... You know, this should only be free 80 page issues and the others are all 20. Fingers crossed. Um, and then, like she said, oh, if you want to like do this specific past paper and give it to me by Tuesday, uh, I was like, yeah, shit, I'm going to need to actually do something here. Aren't I? Um, and then when I was leaving, she was like, oh, you know, if, if you, if, if you, like, do any past papers and you want me to, like, mark or anything, just send it to me. It's like, okay. I found, maybe I can lie to her and say, yeah, I haven't been doing past papers. I've, I've just been looking over, like, the French New Wave notes and all that. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think what is next. There's not much to talk about because after Move an Image, I I went to the library and what I've, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but what I've been doing is that I've been writing down the names of books that I'm interested in and because there's no time for me to borrow all of them from the library. Because, I mean, the Skullduggery series, there's like another 12 of those alone. And that's just one series. There's multiple series and multiple, uh, like, one-offs, standalone titles. So, uh, I'm writing them all down. I'm trying to buy them off eBay. I reminds me about yesterday, uh, speaking of buying things. I figure that now that we're a main Guardians releases, like today, I think, or maybe tomorrow. I asked Dylan, are we going to the cinema? Are, like, you know, we going as a group, or am I just going to have to book my own, you know, go, go myself? I said, I don't know, we're going out on the 14th of May. Which, unfortunately, it's a Sunday, but it is what it is. And then the driver invited my dad. He was like, uh, he's like, if he doesn't want to come, just tell him I'll buy my KFC. It's like, okay, yeah, my dad's still not there. Okay, and it's been over half an hour, so I do not remember what the last thing I said was. <coughs> um. <coughs> uh, I'm, I, I know I went back to Wednesday to talk about uh, me and my dad being invited to Guardians and all that. I think I finished talking about that. I don't think there's anything else I didn't need to mention. So... I'm just going to go back to today and 
I, I think there was something worth talking about in English, but I don't remember what it is. Um. So we did a we did another unseen unseen poetry. Uh, this one was far better than that biker gang one, but it still wasn't that good. This was one called uh, the Moor. By something Larkin. And uh, he. he you know, it's it's by the lawn. By this guy is known as Lon. Um, I know that that's not really a. That's more of an American way to say it, but, you know. Uh, you know, he's cutting the grass with a lawnmower and accidentally kills a a hedgehog. Um. And the way that the teacher described it. He's, Oh, the, the the mower has so much meaning to it. Go fuck yourself. Like, there's no fucking hidden meaning to this. The guy runs over a hedgehog, and you know I don't know if he feels guilty or not. I don't. I'm not good at picking up tone in words. You know if if it were someone saying it, I could pick up tone. But because he's just words alone, I, I can't. But there's no, there's no hidden meaning. Like the question was like, uh, you know, how does he, how does he present the thoughts and feelings of the speaker? And he, he told us, oh, there's stuff to write about about the use of the personal pronoun I. Because like the first line was like, uh, you know, basic. Basically, it was, I was mowing the lawn. There's no fucking thing to write about it there. Like, he was doing it. And, you know, he's writing from a first-person perspective. So he uses the word I. There's nothing, there, there's no meaning to it. I bet you if you asked this guy what, you know, why he used the word I as opposed to I mean, what else could you say? Well, your own, you know, your own name. Um, but I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'll just continue. Well, what I mean is, uh, get into the reviews. Scream 4, universally negative ratings. Directed by Wes Craven. I think this might actually be his last film. Wes Craven, Neve Campbell, Courtney Cox, David Arquette, Emma Roberts, Hayden Pantier, Rory Culkin, mm -hmm. Kristen Bell. You're probably going to see a lot of notifications where it's like this person is sending a photo. I didn't, uh, I didn't explain this in the school segment because I didn't see it wasn't relevant. But uh, there was a post on Google Classroom where it's like, oh, we're gonna invite your parents to like a an afternoon thing where you know basically just send us send us photos of of everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yeah, um, you know, send photos of everyone and and all that. Anyway. So that, that's what that WhatsApp notification is. Uh, Lucy Hill, Anna Packing, Alison Bree. Mary McDonald. This is, it's very slightly worse than screen free in my opinion. Um because screen free they tried for the most part to have a make it at least a little realistic but on this. Actually before I get into what I'm gonna talk about, 
there is there there's another scene that was similar to a scene in, in Scream Free. Scream Free I, I might have talked about the a bit where um Ghostface uh looks like it, he shot Sydney in the face, but no blood, still alive and all that. And the the reason why she survived is because she's wearing a bulletproof vest. Because apparently she got hit in the chest and not the head. Could just be the angle that made me think it was... Ah, fuck. Sorry, I have my tablet right next to me and I just got a notification. I mean, I know that this won't affect me, but it's fucking Ireland passes for crime law. Um, anyway. Um, I, I think it's just like the, the angling that might have made it look like she was hitting the the head, and then screen four, there's a scene where it looks like Gail gets hit in the in in the chest, um, like like the rib cage area, um. But then later they're like, "Oh, you were stabbed in the shoulder," um. Also, the knife looked fake as fuck. Like, the way that prop knives works on, like, films and stuff is that it's, like, when you take a spring out of a pan, where if you, like, try and press it on something, it just retracts into the pan. That's what prop knives are like. Um, wait. Oh, shit, that's prop needles. Whoops. Uh, but that's kind of looked like it, it. It did look like the knife was retracting in, into, like, the handle. And it just did not look like she got stabbed because there was no blood. But whatever. Anyway, the scene that I, I really... I mean, I, I love, hate it. Like, it, it's so... It's so it's so bad, it's good. Uh, the context for this is that it's, it's two police officers. Or two sheriffs or whatever. Uh, they're discussing, like, oh, the cop never survives in horror films. And then they start they're like, oh, but what about Bruce Willis? Even though Bruce Willis, like, Die Hard is not a horror film, but whatever. And if we're just going to count all police officers in films, what about, you know, Lethal Weapon, Rush Hour, uh, Beverly Hills Cop? I've never seen it. Just, you know, all those. But anyway. So... Ghostface kills one and like stabs him in the in the back and stabs the other guy like center of the forehead and he's like oh shit gets out of the car walks really slowly from like I'm not good I'm not good at distance but not not that much of a he didn't go far Walks very slowly too, it has like a dramatic uh falling to his knees and he goes like fuck you Bruce Willis and dies. Like the fact that he didn't immediately die. I've never seen Scary Movie, but I feel like it, it's something that would fit in Scary Movie more than Scream. Other than that, the film was okay. Forgot to mention. Um, before, you know, on Sunday after the Scream 2 and, re and free reviews, I looked up, oh, maybe there's, I thought, maybe there's controversy for Scream 4, and that's why it's not, ac not accessible anywhere. Um, I was like, oh, Scream 4, 10 years later, it's a, something to do with white privilege. Um, no. Like, both killers are white, killing mostly white people. Yeah, a black person dies, but not because, not because he's black, and the cast aren't mostly white because of racism or anything. It's just they gave the better performance. Like Emma Roberts plays Ghostface; she's perfect because she's a fucking psycho in real life. I think it could be. I know it's one of the cast from American Horror Story. It might not be her. 
Oh, I don't know, all knows that one of them is a psycho. Pretty sure it's her though. Anyway, this is the thing that I watched yesterday while I was doing my work. The practice universally positive rating. <coughs> Dylan McDermott, Kelly Williams. James Spader, Linda Hunt, John Laruquette, Lake Bell, William Shatner, Kim Raber, Calista Flockhart, Michael Emerson, Patrick Dempsey, Andy Rawson, Lisa Adelstein, is she, uh, is she in like CSI or, or something like that? Our house. Yeah. Look, I put in the lot that was the guy's name. Or I keep forgetting what. Fred Kaufman, Henry Winkler, Melina Kana Garrett, I don't know. I don't know that she's definitely in. And actually, yeah, that's. She has the other role. She's not on CSI. That's, uh. Fuck, I forget her name now. Sell award. Yeah, it's. Yeah. DB Woodside. That's good. Ever since I watched uh, Boston Legal, I've been really excited for watching this. And I have, and actually, I've seen the first two episodes, and it's, it's, it's really good. 